Hello and welcome to yet another uh, DIY wig tutorial. So today, uh, <laughs> taking it back, way, way back to my days of cosplay and whatnot, and I figured I would share with you all just a little bit of, you know, the things I used to love doing, which was dressing up and cosplaying and whatnot. I have this sort of anime-inspired tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to custom cut and dye a synthetic wig from start to finish. You literally don't have to go out and buy those super expensive custom-made wigs you can do it at home if you like more of these looks yo i'm happy to do it i freaking i actually do love cosplay and dress it up in general or just making costumes so hit me up if you want to see more diys or if you like more wig reviews and whatnot definitely want to hear what you all are thinking and would like to see if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like comment and subscribe and i will see you all soon bye Okay, so to get started, you're gonna need yourself a white wig. I got this off of eBay for about 10 bucks and I'll put the link in the description for ya. All right, so this is just me awkwardly trying it on and then I am taking some hair ties and basically putting sections into ponytails and then cutting right above the hair tie. And so I'm gonna just cut it at the length that I would like it, which is gonna be like a short bob. And uh, no lie y'all, um, I kind of felt a little bad because I bought this long wig just to cut it instead of buying a short wig, which would have made more sense and less mess, but it's cool. God forgives. Let's move on. All right. So this is me over here trying to make a bang. Again, I'm using the ponytail method and just cutting it first and then taking some clippers and cutting it at the desired length. I wanted it to rest right above my eyebrows. So you see here, I'm just miserably cutting away because y'all, this thing was itchy. And I would recommend using a wig form if you have it or a really nice friend so that you don't have to suffer. But anyway, <laughs> also don't recommend wearing contacts because that was kind of stupid. But anyway, it's cool. Uh, so I take the clippers and then kind of cut vertically upwards just to get a layered effect in kind of an asymmetrical bob. And then there you have it. All right, it's coloring time. So you're gonna need some alcohol ink. This is in the color Citrus by Tim Holtz. And you're gonna need some 70% rubbing alcohol as well as a Ziploc bag. So first I started off by pouring about one fourth um, of the way, or one fourth of the bag of rubbing alcohol. And then I poured in some of the dye. Now, I kind of eyeballed it at first to be very honest, but I ended up using pretty much most of the bottle. I would say three fourths of the bottle was used. Um, now, I knew that it wasn't gonna come out true to the color because I had already you know, diluted it with the rubbing alcohol and I knew it was gonna come out kind of like a pastel-y color. So I understood you know, how this dye works. If you're looking for something that is a little bit darker, or true to color, you definitely want to go, instead of with alcohol inks, you actually want to use fabric dye because for some reason it just works a lot better. I think sometimes alcohol, it dries up and it doesn't hold ink, you know, too, too well. Whereas fabric dye, it just works perfectly with synthetic fibers and different things like that. So afterwards, I take out all of the air in my Ziploc bag, I seal it up, and then I put it into another little baggie. And then you're just gonna let that sit for 24 hours. And then the next day, I open it back up and then gave it a quick rinse in some cold water. Make sure you also rinse the inside too so it doesn't stain your clothes or your hair. <laughs> Definitely not your hair too. So afterwards, I put it on. I, uh, like I said, y'all, I don't have a mannequin head so I just use a bowl and put it on a light stand so that actually worked until this happened. Yep, don't, mm -mm. See, look, that's what you get for trying to be creative, girl. But anywho, so essentially all you need to do is just comb and blow, blow dry it and the color will definitely come out. And pretty much, there you go. So I just popped it on my head and styled it. And then I put on some bunny ears and I was good to go. Aha, I'm so, how they say, kawaii, whatever. All right, so I tried. <laughs> 
I hope you all liked it. Thank you so much for watching and definitely stay tuned for more videos. See you soon.